brain science tells us that if you try a math problem before being taught how to do it, even if you get it wrong, you're more likely to remember how to do it and it'll stick longer in your brain if you try it first by yourself. So even if you get it wrong, once we come back and talk about it, you're going to remember it more. We're going to do a lot of that in this class. Number one, because I think you guys have lots of wisdom and knowledge you can apply immediately. I'm not the wise man up here telling you how to do stuff. I know you guys can do stuff on your own. But it also means that you're going to learn more because you're going to try it first. So we're going to try that now. Look to your notes where it says I can at the very top. And take the next two and a half minutes, and you are going to, on your own, Calculate the distance between Sam Houston and Popeyes, from Popeyes to Bill Miller's, and then from Sam Houston to Bill Miller's, using whatever method you can think of. Two minutes on your own. Show me what you can do. <coughs> Wait, I can't do it's more exact.
So tell me, tell, tell me if I do this right. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. You guys got nine? What did I do wrong there? Oh, yes. Don't ever do that. Don't ever start at the point. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Everyone got nine? Yeah. Okay. And did you do the same thing going horizontally? Okay. So one, two, three. Oh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Is that shot right? And it's going to be units because we don't know what the units are here. Okay. Now, Kruger, can I ask you a question? Cool. I know some paper you had the total distance between these two points was twenty-five. How did you get twenty? So, are you sit? So, like, we go from here to here and then over to the right. Would that be your path? Oh, okay. So I could go this way. I'd go over. What is that? Sixteen units until I'm right under, and then go up. So this is nine. So sixteen. Nine plus sixteen would give me twenty-five. Okay. That could be a distance. Now, with a hand in the air, let's answer this question. Based off our definition of distance that we defined at the beginning of the class, what does the path from San Houston to Bill Lewis have to look like if we're talking about distance? Yeah, distance. Okay. So in fact, our line has to be this. Okay. Now, um, Alec, I saw you draw this on your paper. How many spaces did you count? 16. So did you go like one, two, three, 16 units? I did the same thing you did. I got eight. Because like I'm noticing there's like half squares here and third squares going on. So I can't. anyone who counted it like that did something different? Okay, I'm going to call on Mr. Renee. You're absolutely right, Mr. Jesse. I'm going to call on Renee to 
to explain and elaborate on what you're talking about, Jesse. Would you mind elaborating a little bit here, Mr. Renee, about what you did? What I did was I did a Pythagorean theorem. And, um, Why? Why? Because um, it was a right triangle. So this, this, so like, yeah. And I squared nine and sixteen. Well, first of all, what is the Pythagorean theorem? So a squared plus b is equal to c. Good. And what letter represents the hypotenuse? Right. So this is actually the distance we're looking for. Okay. So now you're just plugging into, all right. And you can call this A, you can call this B. So you did nine squared plus 16 squared equals C squared. Am I good so far? All right. And then this is 81, 16 squared, 256. Count it out this way? Yeah. yeah. Okay, when I did the throw order of 337, it came out to 18 point something. Mm -hmm. like, so it won't come out to the same thing if you're counting. We want the exact answer. So, no, no, great, that's a great question because the issue 